One of the most common things that happens on a cold call is someone giving you a fob off. This isn't a genuine objection. This is just someone trying to get you off the call. The way this typically manifests itself is send me an email. I'm in a meeting. I don't have time. Uh, we've already got a provider like that at the moment or we've spent all of our budget. Now, the best way of thinking about this is, you know, when you walk down a high street and you've got like a drama student selling you charity who comes over and says, hey, do you want to invest in some charity today? Think about what you do. You usually go the other side of the road. You try and ignore them. You don't give them eye contact. That's because there's not a fair exchange of value. By you spending time with that person selling you charity, you don't get much back. Now, on the converse of that is when you're outside a train station and someone's giving away a new type of milkshake or a new type of protein drink or a new type of candy bar or chocolate bar. You do the opposite. You stay and you get that free item because there's a fair exchange of value. Now, it's important to remember when we're cold calling people and we're interrupting their day, it's not their fault that they give you that fob off. It's no one's fault, in fact. It's just that we haven't demonstrated a fair exchange of value. So how do we overcome those fob offs? The very first thing we do is actually acknowledge the fob off. We want to show them that we're a human being and we understand that they're busy or they've got stuff going on. So what do we mean by acknowledge it? Well, we almost want to call it out. So as an example, if someone was to turn around to you and say, oh, uh, just send me an email, I'd start by calling that fob off out. Yeah, let's be perfectly honest with you. I was going to send you an email anyway. Or if someone turns around and says, oh, we've spent our budget. Again, you want to call it out. Look, to be perfectly honest with you, most people I speak to at this stage have spent their budget on something. Or another example, someone might turn around to you and say, we're already using a provider. And again, let's call that fob off out. Fully understand. Most people I speak to are usually using one or two tools when it comes to dealing with this problem. The second thing we want to do is we want to ask a question, specifically an open question. The reason we want to do this is because we want to engage the customer. Believe me when I say this, it's very difficult to engage people just by talking at them. One of the best ways of doing it is actually by asking them an open question. Specifically an open question as it gets them thinking, builds rapport, and it allows us to get more information. But this open question needs to be in context of how you've dealt with that fob off. As an example, if someone was to turn around to you and say, we're already using a provider. The way I deal with it is acknowledge the fob off and then ask an open question like this. We're already using another provider. To be honest with you, most people I speak to at this stage have usually picked one or two products to solve this issue. Just out of interest, which provider did you go for? Now again, this is going to engage the customer. This is going to force them to, to answer your question. Let's look at another typical fob off we get, which is just send me an email. So if we get that fob off, just send me an email. Engage, ask an open question. To be perfectly honest with you, I was going to send you an email after our conversation anyway. Just out of interest, what exactly would you want to see in that email? Now, straight away, this starts the rumblings of a conversation. That might give you a couple of really important tidbits that you can then start questioning around and building more engagement to learn more about the customer, their problems, their objectives, and any potential opportunity the customer may be looking for. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments. Thanks.